This is a combination of two exercises, 29-3-2-A, drawing with thickness, and 29-3-2-B, drawing with thickness and elevation. I'm still in the 1-3-D-1 drawing file. I'm continuing from the last exercise we did. Uh, the 1-3-D-1 drawing file is in the Steps Lesson 29 folder. We'll start by setting the thickness system variable to 2, like so. And then we will change our visual style from 2D to hidden. We'll discuss visual styles later in this lesson. Right now, setting the hidden visual style will make it a little bit easier to follow what we're doing. OK, now we're going to draw the walls similar to the way we drew before. We'll start the line command. We'll start at point 6, 1. And we will use polar coordinates. We'll go at 3 at an angle of 0, at 2 at an angle of 90, at 3 at an angle of 180, and we will close it. Notice that this went a whole lot faster and easier than this one, and the stick figure doesn't show actual thickness in the walls, whereas here we are showing thickness in the walls now. Okay, remember to reset your thickness to zero when you're finished. Okay, let's move on to exercise 2932B, drawing with thickness and elevation. Here we'll use the elevation command. We'll set the new default elevation to 2, and we'll set our default thickness to 1.299. That's an odd number, but it'll work itself out in a minute. OK, note that when your elevation is set to 2, then your Z coordinate entry will automatically be entered at that point. So or at that elevation, so you don't have to enter the Z coordinate. Like so. We'll draw a line. We'll start at point 6.75, comma 2. Notice without the Z entry, it still has gone to the Z coordinate of 2. Okay, we will go to point at, I'm sorry, to point 8.25, comma 2, and we've drawn a three-dimensional line locating our roof. Always remember, reset things to zero. Okay, now we'll draw the line to locate our roof, as we did before, using the endpoint O snap. Notice that this is back to our stick figures again, because we've reset our thickness to zero. Like so. Now, I'll show you a way to, rather than erasing this line, this line with thickness, and drawing it in as a line without thickness, which would be easier, I'm going to show you a, a different trick that might help a little bit. When I select the line with thickness, and I go to the Properties Inspector, the geometry tells me something about that line. Our start x is at 6.75. We're going to pick a little button here to relocate it. We're going to put that here. Our end start x will do the same thing, like so. And then I'll go back to the thickness of the line, and I'll make it 0. Clear my grips. And we have a three-dimensional house with a stick figure roof.